So Sahil, yes, uh, Shini was talking about this whole uh, trade deal. He was talking about, you know, how Gujarat Titans made a profit out of it. And they saw an opportunity in this whole deal because they knew that Hardik Pandya would someday or the other would like to go back to Mumbai Indians. But take us through the whole deal. How this happened and uh, how is the money involved and everything around? So see, this this didn't happen overnight. This didn't happen one day before the retention deadline was nearing. This didn't happen, you know, just when Ardik joined GT. It was a work in progress. Dialogue was always there, as Srini said. You know, chatter was always around this, that this was something which would happen. But right now, I think uh, financially and commercially, if you would look at it, had GT not done this deal now, and next year, if Hardik had decided to go back into the auction pool, GT wouldn't have made the negotiated increase money which they did now. Because there's a negotiated increase, the value of which is not known at this stage. So that is over and above the 15 crore league fee, which will be deducted from the purse of uh, Mumbai Indians and added to the purse of Gujarat Titans. So there is a negotiated increase fees as per the IPL player regulations and auction regulations. It's the IPL rule book, which has been in play ever since the league got underway. It has been modified from time to time. But the current rules state that, you know, 15 crore is the amount which will be deducted from MI uh, purse, which has been done now it will be added to gt's purse there's a negotiated increase on top of that so for example yeah. if that deal is around you know 20 crores say 30 crores 30 crores is the figure that both gt and mi have logged for hardik so the increase the negotiated increase which is another 15 crores on top of the 15 crore league value 50 percent of that maximum of 50 percent of that can be shared with the player in question which is hardik pandya and the remainder will be kept uh, kept with gujarat titans so say okay. for example gujarat titans decide that you know we'll give just 30 percent to hardik of the negotiated increase so out of the, out, so the remainder 70 percent is a profit for gujarat titans it will not mm -hmm. reflect in their purse it will not beef up their spending power in the auction but just make it a more financial fina financially uh, viable deal for them so that is what happened when it comes to you know, the financial and the commercial side of it Okay. Now, if you look at the Cameron Green deal, so Green deal, you know, I've been like trying to wrap my head around it. It was a very simple deal to, or a simple thing to be executed when it comes to Mumbai Indians. They could have easily let go of him. But, you know, considering how Green stocks, which were last year, his stocks were shooting when he was picked at the IPL mini auction last year because he did so yeah. well in the series against India uh, in the, uh, the test series or after that. I think uh, in that in the limited over series against India, he did really well uh, at top of the order for Australia. Yeah. And, you know, wherever he was going, he was setting the stage on fire. He was young, something who kind of did fit MI's bill at that point in time. But one year later, now his form has been on and off, you know, and the teams yeah. go into this mini auction where a lot is governed about uh, uh, around the demand and supply and what the needs and the wants are. It's not a mega auction where you can afford to splurge. So, you know, had Green gone back into the auction, I'll put it right out there, you know, 17.50 crore. Usko milne wala tha. So, am I insured? Uska pay cut na ho. They went to RCB. RCB had 40 crores by the time the, uh, the deadline of retention and release yeah. was over. They could afford Cameron Green. They were interested in Cameron Green. The deal went through. And at the end of the day, 27 November, 6.30, we are sitting and chatting. And it's a happy camp. Everyone is happy. Sabko paisa mil gaya, sab ho gaya. Aur jo Twitter pe krip kar rahe, it's a money deal. Everyone is thinking about the money. Face it, boss. That is what the IPL is for. अगर नहीं होता तो सही सागली ट्रॉफी से आप लोग लड़के उठा लेते वहां पे चार स्पोंसर चार लीडर चेयर लीडर्स बिठा के आप मॉल बना लेते बट दैट इज नॉट यू नो आईपीएल इज आईपीएल द मॉडल ऑफ आईपीएल इज इज अराउंड मनी इट्स अबाउट मेकिंग मनी इट्स अबाउट सिक्योरिंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ द प्लेयर्स एंड दैट इज व्हाट हैज बीन हैपनिंग हार्दिक पांड्या जर्स फ्रॉम 10 लाख टू 15 करोड़ इज काइंड ऑफ एकोइंग द फैक्ट दैट यू नो इट्स 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 अ बिजनेस मॉडल it it, yeah. it it is it, it is it is feeder for the Indian cricket team, but it's more on the on the business model uh, lines and this, these transactions which we are talking about those were pure pure and so all you know business deals. There were no emotions attached there. Those were yeah. business deals. Hardik wanted to get back to MI. MI said, okay, we'll pay money for you. GT ko paisa mil gaya. GT is happy. Shuman Gill is happy. Everyone is happy. So I think there should be no creeping on that front. It was very well executed, uh, you know, by both GT and MI. GT full credit, no. Paisa bana hai, exit kiya. Tiyo, agle saal Hardik waisi jaar tha. To 15-16 crore jo aaya, to kisko bura lag raha hai? बिल्कुल और मुझे लगता है कि यहाँ पर जो बहुत सारे लोगों के सवाल थे कि यू नो व्हाट इज नेगोशिएटेड इंक्रीज व्हाट आर बीसीसीआई प्लेयर रेगुलेशंस आई थिंक साहिल ने बहुत अच्छी तरह से इसे डिस्क्राइब किया है वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन साहिल फॉर यू 
Yeah, SK Anand is asking transfer fee is the valid is this valid in the Hardik Cameron deal? Yes. So transfer fees is transfer fees is the amount. So transfer fees is you know the amount which is which the player was getting from the old franchise. So th that was the league fees. So the negotiated increase is something which we'll never know. Or we'll try to know, but you know, it's something which is not known at this stage. It is something undisclosed yeah. at the moment. So that transfer fees, I think he's talking about the negotiated increase, the increase from the leak fee, which is happening right now. So that is not known at this stage. And wo Cameron Green ke case mein bhi ho sakta hai, boss. You never know because RCB RCB wanted Cameron Green badly. Kisko malum ki unhone offer de diya ho, 25 crore mein green chahiye. To 8 crore ka 4 crore green lega, 4 crore MI lega. Again, everyone is happy. Mm. हाँ, so it's a win-win situation. अभी श्रेणी भी वही बात करके गए. चलिए जेमी आप मुझे बताइए तीन चीजें यहाँ पर सबसे मेन हुई हैं. हार्दिक पांड्या moving back to Mumbai Indians, his team where his whole journey started back in 2015. Shubman Gill getting promoted as a captain and Cameron Green going to RCB. How do you see these three developments uh, ahead of IPL 2024? And how big are these uh, you know developments or can say how big are these deals? Um, with respect to IPL. Okay, I mean, look, I think, I mean, Sahil very, very aptly, aptly just summed it up. People watching this show need to understand that this is a business. Okay, IPL, yes, it is a feeder system. What is the IPL? IPL is a private club tournament, right? There, I'm not going to be so naive. I'm not going to be so blase as say that loyalty is not. Loyalty is, but the loyalty is to the paycheck, right? Uh, Mumbai Indians are the Suraj Barjatia of cricket. They do take care, right? But they also let let someone go. So that that guy, he wanted a taste of something. He's got the taste. He's come back. Is his loyalty to Mumbai Indians? I would disagree and say no. His loyalty is to the franchise, which has the money to get him back, right? Hardik Pandya said, Mumbai Indians, Mirko Ana hai. Are aona. He didn't go to CSK. He didn't go anywhere. Don't be confused. Loyalty is not to, and again, Shinu was here, he probably correct me. I don't have any inside inside dope. I'm saying his loyalty is not to Mumbai Indians. It happens to be there because that's where it came from. His money is to the bottom dollar. Bottom dollar se aega, wo Mumbai Indians se aega. Not just because they have the best scouting and, and the most trophies, paisa, and also they make you feel the most comfortable. So I totally get. Uh, is it actually a win, win, win? I actually, my commiserations to Cameron Green, one of the finest young players, for going to one of the worst franchises in the IPL. Is it a win-win? Financially, I think he'll recover his 17.8, but he's going to a franchise which could drop him a less than a year from now, right? So he's smiling here, but is it actually hand on? Is it a win-win for him? He's gone to a franchise which traditionally doesn't know how to retain players, doesn't know how to get the best. So this could be professional or IPL suicide for Cameron Green. So I'm not going to say this is winning. He's getting his money. But this is a team which has had better players than Cameron Green, but just has not known what to do with them. So he could end up being a very... Where he started off, I mean, I would have loved to see him play five years because I think Cameron Green would have benefited. Australian cricket would have benefited because Mumbai Indians, for under said reasons, know how to get the best out of them. RCB are not going to have a clue. I can predict this saying here. Ye iska kima kar denge is, is bichare player ka. Maafi chaunga for all the RCB fans here. There's a reason 16 years they have not won something. It just highlights it. But that's a show for a different day. Uh, the third thing was Shubman Gill. Again, I think for the bigger picture, I believe Shubman Gill will lead India in some years. I think it's very, very important how Shubman Gill takes his first steps towards becoming India's future captain by leading a very, very high profile, very successful, albeit very, very young franchise. Let's see. I would much rather he starts uh, becoming a captain while leading a team in the IPL. Like Sachin, like many, many players, if that crown doesn't sit well on his head, at least we've not lost him playing for India in, in, in this time. So I think it's three very, very different, joined by, joined by transfer fees, joined by money, joined by loyalty, but very, three different players of different skills at very, very different. Hardik Pandya is that player. Impulsively, he sticks out one foot to stop the ball and he misses most of the World Cup. 
what if he does it again you cannot teach these guys to stop doing it it's very instinctive agar mumbai ke liye bowling karte hue hat lag gaya and he's gone then then all this 15 crores plus transfer fees he'll still get the money will the team benefit i will have to be the cynic here and say no um i believe cameron green is the future but i believe he's got the raw deal in this in terms of career growth you know um he seems to be a confidence player he looked very glum when he was benched for most of the world cup i foresee him being in a similarly glum situation again really sorry to all the rcb fans here shuman gill is the one who actually long term probably stands to gain the most as a cricketer not financially that is hardik pandya win 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 all the way home and the little piggies will follow you to the bank cameron green jury still out shuman gill agar yahan pe us level ki batting maintain kar paaye team ko knockouts tak leke gaye khud runs banate rahe for hardik pandya the future indian uh, sorry shuman gill the future indian captain i think this could be a massive massive year for him that's my very very basic take on these three things